Okay, so here we have a Dell Inspiron 2200 laptop, and I've already disassembled it here, but it, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to pull the screws off the top and the bottom, remove the screen, it's actually very easy to do once you remove these screws behind the hinges here. After you remove the keyboard and some of the uh, shielding here, you'll finally be able to release this top layer, which I'm going to do now. If you'll notice there's this tiny little ribbon cable uh, connecting the mouse. You can actually, you don't even need to disconnect that, you can just pick up the entire uh, assembly here and just kind of turn it. And if you'll notice right here is where Dell has conveniently tucked the CMOS battery right out of reach Otherwise, you would just remove the keyboard and have uh, very easy access to it. Thank you very much, Dell. So yeah, that's it. Uh, reassembling the laptop is fairly straightforward. Here's the uh, screen assembly. The hinges just have these little posts. They go right back into the socket. Uh, what I've done here, if it helps, is I've got a sheet of paper for the uh, bottom of the laptop, and I just kind of labeled the corners, the types of screws, pull the hard drive, the RAM, covers, etc. Here's the second layer. Uh, again, I've just kind of noted geographically where the screws were. And then here's the bottom of the uh, laptop. Not very exciting. It looks like there's four, five, six screws. So, that's how you remove this, or excuse me, replace the CMOS battery on a Dell Inspiron 2200.